Hello, peoples! Today is Monday, and we are here at Stan's workshop. This is Stan's van out here. Uh, he's He doesn't have any way to charge the batteries except solar. He can't plug it in or anything. He parked it out here last night, and it's uh, fully charged up now. We got some cows over here. I like how some cows are a little more skittish than others. Like, there are some that are... You know, they're gonna keep an eye on you because they see you as like a predator. Well, I guess they didn't like me getting too close to them. In other news, um, thank you for your patience. Everybody who bought stickers in this past couple of weeks, I'm gonna mail them out today. You should have gotten a notification through your order on the website that I shipped them out today. I left a personal note for each one of these, and I said um, they're going to go out today. As soon as Stan gets here, we're going to go to lunch, and I'm going to drop these off at the post office. You know, since today's Monday and they're open, I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing right now. It's kind of a slow start because I have to charge my batteries up all the way before I equalize them, and that takes a while with that little generator. You know, I could technically run the big generator in here, but I don't want to. I mean, this the roof here is pretty high, as you can see. I don't want to fill this whole place up with exhaust fumes because this thing really stinks. We haven't fixed the tailpipe yet. We're having a hard time finding the flex pipe that we need. So that's something I hope we'll be able to resolve today. Oh, in other news, Ben from Best Buy Transmission just left me a message saying that he took care of the extra days at the hotel. So uh, since you're watching, Ben, thank you. That is really awesome. I'm glad I didn't have to like, you know, I was basically I was gonna call the hotel when I had some time and try to get that resolved, but you took care of it for me. You're, you're an awesome dude, thanks. Right now I am equalizing or desulfating, whatever you wanna call it. I'm desulfating my primary starter battery on the van because I do this every time I desulfate my house battery. This is the Ship and Shore Speed Charger by Shoemaker or Schumacher, however you pronounce it. You can get this on my Amazon page. I have, I've had it up there for quite a long time. And what's great about this charger is that it pumps a lot of voltage into your batteries. It'll pump up to 16 volts. And the, the way this is designed, it um, does a bulk charge, then it tapers everything off, and at the end, it does this sort of equalization charge. This is an all-in-one box that'll kind of bring your batteries back to life. Now, when I hooked this up, the battery uh, voltage was at 12.2. So you could see, if you hit this button, it shows you the percentage that it's charged. So it's, it's completely charged at this point, so I can go ahead and take it off. If you put your ear real close to this battery, now this is a flooded lead acid battery, put your ear next to it, you can hear the acid bubbling in there, and that's what you want. So step one is to take the caps off, make sure each cell is filled with distilled water, and then you put the clamps on, red to positive, black to negative. You go to your ship and shore charger, you put it on 10 amps, standard in this case, and you'll see it goes up really quick. The voltage goes up real fast because this battery is completely charged. But you can see it actually goes up. The, it'll show you the percentage charge. When that gets to 99 and or the battery charger shuts itself off, you start the charge over again after waiting about an hour. So you leave it disconnected for about an hour. That lets the battery rest and cool down. Then you come back over and you do the same thing, but you do it on the lowest charge and you'll see the voltage goes up pretty quickly. Voltages over 15 will generally start boiling the acid in the battery. Um, you know, it's creating hydrogen. And that knocks the sulfur off the plates. The sulfur crystals come off the plates, pretty much brings the battery back to life. Now I have no idea how old this battery is. It came with the van, but I'm gonna have to guess it was only two or three years old whenever I got it. So it's probably close to five years old now. I've never had a problem starting. And the reason why is I go through this process every time I equalize or desulfate my house batteries, I do the same for the starter battery too. So I have it on the slowest charge. It's doing 15 and a half volts, which is perfect. 
and then you just wait till this gets to 99. Now, I already did it, so I'm not going to start it over again and let it go back up to 99. You really only need to do this probably twice. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it now. So that's how you desulfate slash equalize your starter battery. Because the thing is, your alternator does charge the battery, but it generally charges it to 13.6, and on some vehicles it'll charge it up to 14.4, but you have to go through this desulfation equalization process once or twice a year, especially on a flooded lead acid battery. The important thing is make sure that the water, the distilled water in there stays topped up because if it goes low, it'll, it'll wreck the battery. Also, it won't have the, the starting power that you need. So this thing is now ready to go. Um, probably give me a, hopefully give me another good year of service. And all I have to do now is wait for the generator to finish topping up my house batteries. And I'm going to do the same thing with this charger to all three of my house batteries. What up, buddy? What you doing? What you doing? You're just hanging out in there, huh? You were napping all morning. Napping all morning. Yeah. Stan gave me a bunch of... He gave me some hats. I, he gave me this hat too, which is kind of cool. I like these kind of hats. Gave me some shirts. Uh, so something fun. Said something funny on it. Uh, skinny dicks halfway in Fairbanks, Alaska. He said this is some kind of bar or pub up there. It's kind of funny how the polar bears are doing it. Stan says he doesn't wear shirts this vulgar, and I says, well, I'll take him because I'm 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 that vulgar. <laughs> I have no problem wearing vulgarity. You want me to get this thing set up? Uh, probably by the time I get this set up, Stan will be here with food. And then I can eat. And probably around that time, the batteries will be fully charged in the van and I can get to equalizing. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. What is it, baby? You want to come out and play, huh? Pretty soon, as soon as I pull that mattress out, you're going to be hanging out in the other room over there. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Joe Lazaro.